Hi everyone, it's Jeanette um, with day seven of the 100 day uh, project. Today is bees. So I've already, I've got a, actually got a um, kit um, all started, ready to, um, it's from uh, Kelly's, um, Kelly's Craft by Kelly um, and it's just beautiful. I think I've made one before with this kit. So um, it's called um, Be Beautiful Journal Kit that I'm using some of the bits from. Um, but first, these are just little bits that I've sort of pre-made, uh, little clusters to pop on the side. I've just read pop them down, they can be tucks, I can add on the back a um, paper clip if I wanted to, just depends on where I wanted to pop them, haven't inked that one. Um, there's a little um, banner that I've used uh, as a paper clip to slide in, uh, there's another little um, cluster that I've done, these were all just in my little cluster box, ready to to go and this tag I probably have shown it a few times but that's another different way you can use your multimedia um, this is texture paste and I've got, got a, a B on there one of Tracy's um, or three of Tracy's little words and this can't remember sorry I'll have to think about that and some lace so that's another like a journaling card but for this project I've actually prepped everything because um, my internet is just so slow that it's taking me nearly all day to upload um, a video so sorry just needed to wet my whistle so I've decided to um, do this little one up it's going to be a little booklet so at the front of it <coughs> I've embossed and then gone over with vintage photo. Um, now I've got the inside ready there. I've got the journaling papers and this is how I think the is going to go there and then the back is just going to be a bit of fun. Okay, let's start. So to start with, I'm just going to pop down some cheesecloth and I'll just go across with my glue to get that. And then I'm not going to cover up the whole um, front, just going to like that. Just cut it off so I can see a little bit of the honeycomb at the bottom and at the top. So I hope everyone's going okay. We're all good here. Just got my fruit and veggie order so we're right for the week. There we go. So that's good. So that's that part. Then this is going to go here and I think I sat last night, I've, I've done a video whether it will be up before or after, I've done a whole load of um, Ruffles, uh, Kip's Corner, if you go to the YouTube channel and look up for her Ruffles, um, she does them on cardstock ruffles it on, put some glue on there, ruffles it up and then stitches and then you can just pop it down the side and because you're um, gluing it on you don't have to worry about the stitches coming undone. Brilliant idea. So I sat there last night and did a whole lot of these. Peter was looking at me, looking at me as if to say what on earth are you doing now woman? And um, 
I sat out the front with him while the, the sun was going down and had a cup of tea and um, uh, ripped the, stri the strips off. And once I'd finished, he said, now, is that all going in the bin? Because I had some that I, that wouldn't rip properly. They would go a bit thinner. And I said, no, I said, they'll, they'll come in handy. Oh, Lord, he said. So he just doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. That looks nice, doesn't it? So then I thought, that's going there. Yeah. I've just got a, a few little bits of odd odd bits here that I just wanted to pop down here just for a, more for just a bit of interest, I think, more than anything. Just a bit of texture along there as well. And then, yeah, it was the side just a little piece of lace that was on on a um, I think it joined this and I don't and that's too big yeah so I thought I'll just cut the little piece off just to pop there just as something a little bit of interest then I had this bead that I cut out last night and I'll just stick this one down and that's the front done. So it's just a little um, book booklet to go into the journal. And um, just tissing it up a little bit. So that can go there. I love the way the, the um, honeycomb comes out at the top. And, um, you know, just shows through all the textures. cut that flower off I did like the way it toned in with the red but it's a little bit big I think so we'll just chop it off these are out of a um, uh, animal encyclopedia it was shove that over there it might come in handy again and then I'll just pop some glue on the back of that just to Hold it onto the <coughs> I don't want it going up onto the flowers. So just going up there. Just get a dry wet one out. And that's the front. Bit cutie. Now on the inside. want to stamp <coughs> excuse me get it up the right way Jeanette just stamp over here because I'm not 100% sure how much is going to cover and it just adds a bit of interest and then we'll just see what this does we'll just cover it so that we see the negative side of the Honeycomb. Beautiful. Oh, get all pretty. I suppose I should do the back while I'm. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in the throat again. Most of this will be covered, but not to worry. Beauty. I was going to say I'll clean it after, but I can't do it. I've got to clean that now. Okay, okay that's done. So on the inside on this one, I've got a few things, I'm not sure, I like the blue, and then there were some of these 
library cards that have got bits on them. So we'll see. Just a bit of, um, I'll keep using this, um, a bit of, um, it's an old 1953, I think it was, um, encyclopedia that I got from a um, second hand shop somewhere on the travels as we're doing. So I just wanted something on the background there. And um, I'll just centre that there a bit. Just so we've got something back there. And then this little pocket that was in the kit and I thought that will go very nicely there. I had to just trim it down a fraction and rearrange the back so that was all good easy done just to make it fit in the right spot so once you get it all worked out what you want where it all comes together fairly quickly now this one I am going to trim it because I've just noticed it's white on that side and I don't want the white there. I probably could glue this to one of the um, library cards which would a bit wouldn't it hmm. let's do it just drop a few things down on the floor I think because I've bought my sewing machine in in case I can so, so I might just do that and then I will I'll just go around this. I'm sick of leaving the desk to go off and stitch. So I thought I'll try bringing it in. The only thing is I need to just tilt the camera of a fraction and then it can be achieved let me see ready to be 